Hey there, sign of Aquarius. My name is Kim. I'm going to do your reading for the next 48 hours. This is the Everyday Enchantment Tarot. We're going to do that and then a few oracle cards. So Aquarius, let's call in your spirit guides, angels, um, higher self, higher power. Let's get messages for their greater good only. Sign of Aquarius, please. These stupid sleeves won't stay up. Okay. So, Aquarius, thank you for liking, subscribing, commenting, and also thank you for the people that have gotten uh, private readings for donation so that anybody can really get one right now. I appreciate it. All the support. All right, so what is the issue, Aquarius? Let's figure out what the issue is. Nine of Wands, Four of Cups. You may be feeling a little bored where you're at. Maybe feeling a little bored and like you want more out of life. You just want some more. And you know, when we feel like something's missing, we need to watch out that we're not thinking only of the stuff that's missing. Because then we we miss this opportunity too. Because we're looking for more lack in our life. We just don't realize that's what we're doing. The Nine of Wands, this guy um, has a broke leg, but he is going still. He's keeping on, trooping on, even though he's been through, looks like a hard time your future the tower Aquarius what is this about let's get some more information on this the tower and the queen of coins Capricorn maybe and one more oh okay somebody might be getting really stressed out around you this tower might not be around about you it might be about somebody else someone stepping into a role as like the matriarch role i don't know if this is really the matriarch or somebody that's just assuming that role eight of blades is real stressed out in this deck and um kind of getting inside your head and being very very snippy because you're stressed and you're paranoid you can't get out of your head then advice the emperor aries the two of cups harmonious relationships the empress the mommy card and that might be capricorn this might be representing the actual matriarch <sighs> okay and the queen of swords this empress may be a person who is a little off as far as not being able to communicate things without seemingly being cold but they're not they're trying to do something to be something to show you something first Okay, so what we're going to do is I don't like leaving things like they are when it's like this. So we are going to get more information. We're going to use the Urban Tarot deck, though. That's just a little bit of a different deck. Let's get information for Aquarius for um, one. Let's just go ahead and get another situation card. And we'll see what else we can get for Aquarius. It's a situation. Your Ten of Cups. Needing to get your Ten of Cups. It's, you're going to do that by making good partnerships with other people. It may be this Emperor feeling, this Aries. It may be an older person who can really mentor you. But your issue is trying to get your Ten of Cups. Or maybe you have some Ten of Cups, but something might happen in the future. Let's look at this Tower card. Ten of Swords. Goodness. Well... Tens are the completions, right? So here's the good thing is that this Ten of Swords is feeling like everywhere you go, somebody attacks you and that and that things are just like not one thing or two things going wrong, but there might be like five or more, four more things going wrong at one time. The thing is, is you can handle this. You can handle this. You may have somebody with some drug abuse and uh, that might be... Uh, that might be their rock bottom when they hit that. Maybe this is somebody that you're going to end up helping. Somebody's world's coming down. You're involved in it somehow, whether it's directly or indirectly. Let's get another card for the tower. Whoa, immediately. All right. Somebody walked away. Somebody might be coming back because it was in reverse. Somebody might be coming back after walking away. There was a lot of overindulgence, maybe drug issues again. I'm seeing that again, or drinking problems. What is this um, Eight of Swords about?
Prince of Cups or King of Cups. Well, there is a water sign around you, more than likely, that is really helping you gather or um, understand your emotions right now. Because it looks like emotions are running high, or they're going to run high. Been running high, I think. So, this person will be warm, caring, diplomatic. They're good. They're good support in your life at this time. Definitely need to focus on having that um, King of Cups ability to regulate emotions so that they don't control us so that we can control reactions what is this emperor card for whoa it's an inspiration maybe this person is really inspirational to you somebody who might be starting a, a company and it might be very big and successful somebody who has influence over your life probably has a lot of property or material items there is going to be a huge change about this, and this might be the change, okay? It might be a person that comes in that's providing a lot of support and stability for more than, you know, one group of people. Let's look at a card for Queen of Swords. Two of Swords, okay? This is, you are going to come to a peaceful resolution here. This is the very end. Spirit advice. Hold on to that stoicness right now. Hold on. Don't go forward yet. There is a decision to be made. And maybe this person is not dealing with it. Or this could be an air sign. So it could be you. But ultimately in the end. We're going to have things done in a very logical. Finding the truth out way. And we're not going to avoid something in the end. Right now we might be avoiding something. Or we might be witnessing somebody else avoiding something in their life. Which affects us. All right. Whew, I always talk too much. So let's get us some Wisdom of the Oracle cards. Or Aquarius, please. Poised. I like that card. To the sea, even better. Here and now, always. The Fates, beautiful. Fated to be, fated to be. Let's get one more. I feel like we should get one more. All right, so this is not completely shouting tower to me. Um, this is about needing to be in the here and now, because if you think about it, future doesn't really exist. Only in a state of anxiety does the future exist. Um, it doesn't really exist because every moment passing by is only leading us to the next moment, the here moment, the now moment. That is really what's always happening. Not the past, not the future. Stay in the here and now and be atten pay attention to your surroundings, what's going on, what symbols, signs, synchronicities from the universe might be displayed around you. To the sea reminds me of Abraham uh, when she, you know, you're getting into the flow and you're going to this river that eventually leads to the sea, which is where all your manifestations can come true. And that is the part that you're at because you're poised to receive something really well this is like the yin energy all she has to do is kind of sit back and not take any action like the two of swords for a moment and give her time to receive the fate says don't worry you can't really do too much here because something is fated to be the way it is you can't change it no one can but it's going to turn out okay Close your eyes and vision and breathe in and out your vision. Really see yourself every day doing it, what exactly it is that you want to do. All right, Aquarius, I like this for you. Thank you for joining me. Sending much love and light your way.